so the model we're looking at today is what's called the advanced frame. Um, a lot of people ask me how big is it when it's packed up. So that's why I thought I'd bring this bad boy along. Um, as you can see, it starts out narrow when you first buy it and then you can never quite fold it down to the same size again. So it ends up bulging a bit. But still, it gives you an idea of how wide it is, how thin it is, how high it is. Um, it's reasonably heavy, this model. It's about 16 kilograms. But that's not that bad. I mean, I'm a fairly small person and I'm carrying it here without too much trouble. Um, I've walked quite a long way with it, actually. When it's inflated, it's even easier to carry because it's rigid. So it's not too bad. Now, I'm just going to pull it out and show you some of the features in this kayak. So this is the inflatable floor, which we'll put inside the kayak later. And this is the seat, the backrest. So it clips into the side of the kayak like that, and you sit on it. Again, we'll put that in at the end. This is the actual kayak itself. This is the bag that comes with it. So with the actual kayak, I'll just lay it out first. So it's, it's folded in half when you get it, and then you open it up so that it's laying flat. This red fabric is the top of the kayak. Now what the kayak actually is, is a giant inner tube. So I'm going to unzip the front and show you what I mean by that. around it to give it its form. Okay? What we have, what makes this kayak special, is these ribs that sit at the front and the back. Okay? So they're made of aluminium so they don't rust. If you're out in the ocean like I am. I'll just pop that back in. Okay, and what these do is they slot into the front and the back of the kayak and they make sure that the nose, the bow, sorry, stays down deep, okay? Same with the stern, so that the kayak's not sticking up out of the water at the end and waggling it around. Okay, it really gives a good strong direction, makes it go very straight. So I'll just slot that back in. Zip this back up. Inflate. 
here I go. So within the advanced frame model, there's a few other varieties. This is the regular advanced frame, the original advanced frame, and it's meant for one person, so for kayaking solo. There's a model that's also red called the convertible. With the convertible, it's much longer and has a wide cockpit. So this is the cockpit here. This is where you get in and out. And it can be paddled tandem with you know, two people sitting in it, or you can put the seat in the middle and, and paddle it solo. If you're gonna paddle it solo though, just be aware it's quite a heavy kayak, just because it's long. We also have the Expedition. The Expedition's a yellow one, and it's very long. It has another meter on the end of this one, and, a, and heavier. But it's only meant for solo kayaking, okay? It's not meant for tandem. The idea is that you've got room at the front and the back to put gear, so camping gear, for example. If you wanted to go for a multi-day trip. Okay, so I've just put that valve on inflate. So I'd leave them on deflate, but I'm not using both. Actually, before I go on, I'm gonna put the plastic supports in. These just make the front, the bow and the stern a bit more um, widened. It's just a shaping mechanism. But I found that it's a bit difficult to put them in once it's fully inflated. So you can see this inner tube. Oh, maybe you can't, I'm not sure. It's starting to take a bit of shape now. now you may also be able to see that there's a, a strong fabric cover on this inner tube. So it's not PVC. Directly, it's PVC with a fabric cover. The fabric cover is not stretchy, so it reduces the risk of pressure due to overinflation. Now you can basically keep pumping, keep pumping till it's quite firm. What you feel is a bit of pushback from the um, pump. But see, I'm, I'm pushing quite easily now, and I'll get to a point where it'll be a bit more like, a bit more laboured, and that's when I know I'm getting close. And you can also feel it. I mean, when it's fully inflated, it feels very rigid, which is what you want. The more rigid it is, the harder it is, the more the bow and the sterns, those ribs are gonna stick down into the water and you're gonna get nice straight tracking. Okay, it's really starting to take some shape now. And you'll notice that I didn't really do any adjusting to sort of get this thing to fit. It never sits quite exactly perfectly central in the skin, in the out, outer shell, and it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Well, I'm starting to feel a bit of pushback now. And I'm starting to get rigidity. See how I can sort of pick it up and it's not, it's not folding on itself or anything like that. I'll go a little bit more, so I can st I've still got a little bit of give in it. But it's really pushing back on me now. Right, I think that'll do it. I'll just tip it over so you can see the front. Okay, so the valves have all have a safety um, screw cap. So I always put that on. It's really just in case the spring valve fails. It's not required to keep water out. So I'll put the inside one on as well. And that's basically the inflation of the kayak. Okay, so you can see, maybe, you can see the inner tube in there, goes all the way around, and then you've got the shell sitting on top, okay? What we're going to do now is put the inflatable floor inside. So these are the bungee straps, I haven't done these up after I've done there. So I usually put my thongs under here, <laughs> but you can use them for whatever you like, obviously. Floor. Now this just is PVC. This isn't reinforced, so you do need to be a little bit more careful with this than you do the rest of the kayak. Don't leave it out in the sun. Okay? It'll melt, it'll bubble. And don't um, put fish hooks anywhere near it. The other thing. Okay, so to know which way to put it in, the slightly fatter end goes at the back. Okay, so we literally just slot it in. Valve here, 
Yeah, now this valve, it's not a spring valve, unfortunately. It's a twist valve. And if I'm honest, it's not as good. The reason is that the pumps don't fit it. And I get quite a pump that'll stay on. See the pump in here, you'll notice I put the pump in and I stepped away. This one, fortunately, I've got to hold it. The good news is that it takes a very short amount of time to fill this floor up. It's not very big. The inflatable floor is part of what makes the kayak so comfortable. It's not like a hard shell where you're sitting on something rough and hard. You are literally sitting on a giant air bed. It's very cushy. Okay, so that's up now. So you just twist this bell. That's that. So pull it up. Hopefully you can see that's the inflatable floor just sitting in there. It's not secured, it's just sitting in there. Okay. Now we have a couple of little things that we inflate. So to give the deck a bit of lift, they have these tiny little bits in here. I just blow them up because it's all of one breath. Just cruises over the top of the water. It's a great kayak. 